Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with a circle and a hyperbola. And just to make it a little bit easier, we drew the circle right here and the hyperbola. Notice that the circle has a radius 7 and the hyperbola has a box one by one. Uh, so one in the x direction and the y direction, one in the, in the, so one to the right to the left, one up and down. So a little box, you put the diagonals in there and then you're able to just draw the hyperbola. And now you can see that there's four locations where the two equations will cross. So we're looking for four solutions. So how do we deal with this? Well, first of all, notice that we have a minus y squared up here and a plus y squared, which means if we add the two equations, we can easily eliminate y and then we can solve for x. So let's do that. We're going to add the two equations. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Minus y squared plus y squared is plus 0. And that equals, when you add them together, you get 50. So now we divide both sides by 2. We get x squared is equal to 25. And now we take the square root of both sides. We get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25, which means that x is equal to plus or minus 5. y plus n minus. Well, it turns out we cannot eliminate at this point any possibilities because we're dealing with nonlinear equations, which means we could have, like you see here, we can have a solution for plus 5 and we can have a solution for minus 5. We need both of them there, otherwise we can't find all the solutions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into one of our two equations. It doesn't matter which one. So let's go ahead and grab this one right here and solve that for y. So we're going to take this equation, we're going to write x squared plus y squared square is equal to 49, and now we're going to substitute both values for x one at a time. So first we'll try x equal plus 5. So x equals plus 5, and when we do that we get 5 squared plus y squared, that's a square, equals 49. 25 plus y squared equals 49, or y squared equals 49 minus 25, or y squared is equal to 24. Which means we can now take the square root of both sides, so we can say y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 24. We can factor out a 4, which is equal to plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6, because 4 times 6 is 24, and I can take the square root of 4, which becomes 2. I can do the same for x equals negative 5, but notice nothing really will change because negative 5 squared plus y squared equals 49 becomes 25 plus y squared equals 49, or y squared equals 24, or y is equal to plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6. The same exact same solution that we had over there. So for every possibility of 5, we have two possibilities for x, we have two possibilities for y. Which means the four solutions are, we have 5 and positive 2 times the square root of 6. We have 5 and negative 2 times the square root of 6. And then we have the same but for x equals negative 5. So negative 5 and 2 times the square root of 6 and negative 5 and negative 2 times the square root of 6. And notice that set of solutions represents every one of the four intersections that we drew on our graph. And that is how it's done.